In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Flutter package Flutter Spin Kit. As you can see here in the sample app we are going to build today, these are the kind of different spins you can use within your app. So for example, in this case, a growing and shrinking heart or a growing circle animation or such a wave. And as you can see here, there are lots of different spinners here. Let's get started. As mentioned, we're going to use the Flutter Spin Kit package. Click here to copy it to your clipboard. Then in your pubspec.yaml file, underneath your dependencies, just paste it in here and run pub get. That's all we need to do for a setup. Now concerning the layout, what I did was simply building a simple Flutter app. And you actually don't have to do this the same way as I did. I just wanted to show you the different spinners that are available because this is a grid view and usually you would just use one of those spins within your app to replace the usual circular progress indicator. So first of course import the Flutter Spin Kit package. Then what I did was to find some titles so that we can see the titles underneath each spinner and then I defined a list called kits and in here I just put all the different spin kits that are available. So for example the first one here is a spin kit rotating circle. So you just use spin kit rotating circle, give it a color and then everything is taken care of with the animation for example. If you want to customize some things with the spin kit you can define a custom size give it a custom animation controller and also give it a custom duration for example then as mentioned i'm using a custom grid view here to show this but usually what you just have to do within your normal app is just use then one of these kits one of these spin kits so for example you could just use this one here and within your normal app you would just put this in here like so because it's simply a widget but in my case i use the grid view builder and each item here has basically Based on the index one of those spin kits then I put a size box underneath it with the height of 5 so that we can easily see the text underneath it as you can see here so this is the spin kit then a size box and then the text here underneath it also if you don't want to run the app I built and just want to see what animations are possible you can also directly see this on the pub.dev website of the package and here you can see again like for example the hourglass so you would then just call it spin kit hourglass and then you could just use it i hope you like this tutorial please leave a like and subscribe if you have any questions feel free to ask them down below in the comments and thank you for watching